Hi guys, I'm Liv and today, as you can see by the title, we are doing a review. Today's video is all about a brand, Indigo Loon, and Indigo Loon is a brand that I have been following for a while now. I found them through Jordan Lipscomb and this was back when they had, I don't want to say bad quality jewellery, but it wasn't the best thing ever. There was better stuff out there. It was cheap, it was like £10 or so, it was, it was you know, it was pretty. Um, However, it did used to turn my fingers green. It wasn't great for me. The metals weren't brilliant. They did tarnish very easily. I remember after literally a week, my ring was starting to look a bit gold, like coppery, not gold. The copper orange color was coming through underneath. Um, they weren't great quality, I'll be honest. And I wasn't massively keen on them. And then, literally about a month after i ordered from them their prices skyrocketed and that is because they changed the site completely they changed their metals they changed what they worked with and they made it a lot more high-end and better quality than it was so i wanted to do a little purchase to see how their stuff is how it how it looks got a few things so i'm gonna talk you through what it came in the delivery how long it took to ship everything like that, returns and stuff, tell you everything to do with that because I feel like that's really important in a review, show you the pieces, tell you how much they were, um, yeah. First ring you got, the first ring that caught my eye was the Diamante ring and this had a pattern on it that I'm actually in love with, it has this Fendi sort of, can you even see that? It has this Fendi inspired pattern and it's gold, it's got diamantes on it, and this was on sale actually, £40 to £25, which I thought was decent, and it wasn't too bad for me to spend my money on it. It is a yellow gold, as you can see, it's very bright, and I will say, in comparison to, for instance, my Priya jewellery, it's very much more of a yellow gold. It's very similar to my Kate Spade bracelet, um, in quality in my opinion, well, in the way it looks, I don't know about quality, um, but I think it's very pretty. The diamantes look pretty sturdy, there's nothing that's fallen out or anything, and I have worn this for two days so far, and I'm very, very happy to say there's been no green fingers or anything, nothing's gone funny, no diamantes have fallen out, and I just think it's quite a nice ring. It's not too thin, which is what I always look at with jewellery. It's quite thick, and it's very much quite a sturdy piece. It's got a bit of weight to it as well, um, I do think it's quite nice, it's quite pretty, and I do recommend it. I got mine in a size 52. That is the size that I have for my first finger, my middle finger, and my thumb. It can fit if I like wriggle it down. It can fit if I proper like wriggle it down, but then I have to wriggle it off as well. Um, but that does fit my first finger and my middle finger quite comfortably, um, as so it just fits on both of them really and I just I like it I think it's a very pretty ring do you like the finish I think that the the yellow gold being as gold as it is it's quite like quite pretty bright and gold I think that's quite nice and I do like it a lot nail ring and this is a nail wrap ring so I bought a nail wrap bracelet from a different place and so I saw this on this website and it's a Diamante one again and I just thought it was really pretty so this is the nail wrap ring. It is a very much a pretty, delicate ring. It literally just looks like a nail that's been wrapped around. And I wear this again on my first and my second fingers. I can wear it on my thumb if I want. Um, I haven't so far. It does fit if need be. I got this in the same size. I got this in a 52. I am a size six as well in rings on my first fingers and my second fingers. I'm a 48 on this finger here and I'm a 54 to 52 on this finger. But it's really pretty, this is how it looks. It's got diamantes on it. I'd say my only critique is that the flat part of this ring bit can dig into your finger and leave red marks. Um, but I don't mind it, I mean beauty is pain, I don't mind. That ring I forgot to mention was £28. I know these rings are kind of like more on the expensive end, they're not as cheap as somewhere like Priya, which they can be £16, and Boho Moon, where they can be like 5 to 35 Then I have, I don't know how to pronounce this, the Willa ring. Now this was £22, and it is so pretty. It's this sort of, I'm really sorry if you can hear like rain noises, someone has put the shower on. <laughs> so it has this kind of like crisscross sort of look, and it's got gold, and it's got diamantes. 
it's really pretty and again i got these for my first on my second fingers i have so many rings for my ring fingers that are meaningful to me so i don't really get ring fingers rings as often that's how it looks it's quite pretty it's very delicate very dainty and i do like that it's kind of my favorite it's just quite sweet and this one as i said was 22 pounds it's very pretty and it's very delicate it's also quite thin so i feel like the thicker the ring the more you may need to size up with the sizing because if it's quite a thick ring, for instance, the one I showed you first, this is a very thick ring in comparison. That's how thick that is. And then the Willow ring is that thin. It, it's quite a lot thinner, it just doesn't look it. The Willow ring is like a little bit loose, but it fits perfect. However, the this, this ring is a little bit thicker, it's a bit tighter on my finger, which I'm fine with, but you just need to watch out for that. The last ring I've got is the Kana? Kana ring? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I got this one on sale. This was down from 35 to 10 pound. And this is how it looks. It's like a double ring, really pretty. And I like to wear this with the Willa ring. I just feel like they just, they just go, it's quite pretty. So I just paired them up together like so. Quite pretty, they're both gold, so it's really nice. As you can see, if I separate them slightly, this looks like I have two rings on anyway. I do like that in a ring. I just think they look really pretty and they look really pretty together. So I just put them together. Altogether, I did spend, well, it was meant to be 80 something, but I got it for 60 something. And I got a 20% off discount, 25% off discount from Indigo Loon. So if you go on the website and it's your first time purchase, you are most likely going to get a 25% discount. And I do recommend that because 25% is quite a lot of money off. This stuff what I was buying, I'm pretty sure I got 20 quid off my order. I remember it saying minus 20 something. So I do recommend using the 25% off discount. I do think that this jewelry is really pretty and I've had no problems with it. I've had no green marks. I've been washing my hands and stuff and there's not been any color fading or anything. Everything about jewelry, it doesn't smell. Usually if jewelry isn't that great quality, it smells very metallic. And I don't like that smell. The metallic smell is just not nice for me. So it doesn't smell metallic-y or anything metally. It smells quite normal, it doesn't smell anything really, um, which is what I look for. Now on to delivery. So I got free delivery for this order because I spent over 50 pounds, I think. Um, but delivery, I don't know how much that is. However, I do know how long it took to get here. So I ordered this on Wednesday and it arrived by Friday. So about two days it took, and that is really good to me. I honestly give a jewelry company about a week to send me the products and it came in two days which is brilliant i think it's a really good thing especially when they've got a sale on they can be have much more people trying to buy things because it's they have a sale on and usually when they have sales other companies take a lot longer to send things out because they're just so busy two days is insane for me i think that's really good getting my book ready with all my stuff in to do with shipping and stuff the packaging so the packaging is this box it's a cardboard box on the front it doesn't say Indigo Loon anywhere. Oh, it does. On the return address says Indigo Loon, but there's nothing like big flashy things saying Indigo Loon on it. Let me open the box. It has Indigo Loon in gold printed here, which I think is quite pretty, quite nice. And we get some bags, which the jewelry comes in. On the bottom, we get a little, can I get this out? I've got nails on. <laughs> then we have this little laminated piece of paper. So I'm gonna talk about the paper first. On the back, it has a lot of writing. So we have three sections. We have jewelry care, warranty, returns and exchanges. In a nutshell, the jewelry care does say that you can wear it in the gym so you can sweat on it so it's sweat proof. It says you can wear it in the shower and in the pools and stuff. It's meant to be waterproof. And it also says that it's tarnish free. Those are three things that I do look for in jewelry. Don't mind if it's not waterproof but I do look for it to be tarnish free and I hope that it doesn't turn my fingers green. That's how I know it's a decent piece of jewelry. It does give some recommendations for if you want it to last like a lifelong sort of time. And that is to store it in a protective box, remove it all when you're gonna go in the bath or if you're swimming and try not to put perfume in it or have harsh chemicals on it. It's just advice if you wanna try and increase the longevity of your jewelry. You have a two year limited warranty and they'll replace items with a manufacturing fault free of charge up to two years from your original date of purchase. I think this is good. It's kind of saying that we are solid with our brand, that there's never gonna be like any manufacturing issues. 
and if there is we will replace your jewellery I think that's a good statement it kind of reassures the buyer that they're not going to have to actually contact you you offer free and easy UK and EU returns you can return your order up to 30 days from your date of your order and yeah that's everything you need to know so you get free returns you have 30 days to take it back which i think is brilliant um and yeah i have this little i'm just gonna keep this card it's laminated as well so it's not like you could lose it or anything bags depending on how much you have ordered you will get a certain amount of bags i didn't gift wrap mine or anything so this is what you get they are a silk sort of feeling bags with indigo loom printed on them and yeah they're quite cute i bought four rings so i had two in here and two in here overall i think this brand is really good and i love all my stuff i've got these are all my rings as as of right now my hands are decorated and i really do like them i think they're really pretty i think that they will match up to the prices i think they will be quite good i've seen a few people review them a few people i've not seen many reviews on this one though i've not really looked into it but I do think that they're very good jewellery items. I think they're quite pretty, dainty. They look good quality. As in the whole video, I will do an update on these jewellery items in a couple of weeks, I'm thinking, to see if they have tarnished or anything. I don't think they will have, but hopefully, fingers crossed, they won't have. I will see you guys then, though, with that video. If you have enjoyed, thumbs up down below, subscribe, do all that malarkey. But overall, as I said, I think that these jewellery items are really cool pieces. They're very nice pieces to add to my collection. I love them. Check out last week's video. I will link it up here. But I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.